We keep trying to get out early and that never happens. We're at a panel. It's lit. Hello, where's Andrea Russet? You all look. My name is Alicia Marie. She always goes above and beyond. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm Adeline Morris. I'm Shameless Maya. For me, I always say that beauty is something that you should be able to feel in a dark room where you don't need to see anything. It should be something that you just feel and it's have really to me, I, I even posted something like, there's a lot of pretty girls that have really ugly attitudes, and that makes you really ugly really fast. Like, I don't care how pretty your face is, if you're treating people rude, you're a real ugly person. Uh, I started my channel about five years ago now, and I was actually inspired by everyone to start it because uh, I fell into makeup on accident. I used to do a lot of art, and I just kind of translated that onto um, makeup one Halloween when I had no costume and I was like, wait, this is really fun. And um, I started posting on Instagram and everybody was like, just start a YouTube channel. And I love YouTube. Um, I always watch videos. I never thought I would start a channel, but. And I know you've been on YouTube for a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, for like, I mean, there was like nobody making YouTube videos when I started. But <laughs> um, there was like no YouTube famous people when I started. So, right. <laughs> but one of my friends had found uh, this girl that was in the UK and he was like, you should check out this girl, Candy, because you're a makeup artist and she's teaching makeup on YouTube. And I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's a genius. How would you think of using that? Like, I thought that's where you'd see like, you know, cats water skiing. Like, I didn't think you'd like learn things from YouTube. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I've been a makeup artist for like 10 years. I can really teach like legit makeup tips. And then I realized there was like three or four of the girls already in the US doing it too. But I was like, this is so cool. And then I just started doing makeup tutorials and then it rolled into people being like, what are you wearing? What are you for breakfast? How'd you cut your hair? And then I was like, uh, I should do a costume tutorial because like that'd be really cool to turn myself into like, I think the, what was that? Not the Queen of Hearts. It was Alice in Wonderland was coming out and I saw the Queen of Hearts and I'm like, oh, her makeup is so cool. I should try to look like that and teach people how to do it. And then people really like those. And I was like, I should keep, doing these costume looks because people really seem to like those. <laughs> so what's the process for you in terms of how you determine which videos you're going to make the creative process? Um, the creative process, I'm more of a when cre creativity strikes, I just go in. Like uh, for Halloween this, this last year, I did the melting skull and that was an idea that popped in my head that morning. And I just, it's like I saw, I look at paintings really, I look at art. Um, and I just get inspiration from that, and that I remember that day I just got all the things and filmed it like right away. It was in my mind. I just wanted to get is it. Is that done. normal though? Do you normally is it is it sort of spur of the moment or are there? That's when I have the most fun because it's something I'm, I get so passionate about an idea that I'm right. like I'm gonna do this right now. Right. Um, but definitely there's times where I have you know something takes a little bit more time. I love to do um, a lot of fake production because I'm a fan of editing. I I enjoy editing. The process of that um, I do. with making, yeah, I do. I hear I so love often that's it. the least favorite part. See, like when that? it's a creative video, I love it. When it's like cut, you know, when it's kind of like just cut and dry, like this is a makeup tutorial, it's not as fun, not gonna lie. But uh, <laughs> when it's something like a lookbook or a vlog, like I have so much fun. I always thought like right. that process is just love it. Amazing. Where do you find your inspiration for your videos? Um, like Desi too, it's usually like a lot of art things or it'll be random things or it'll be even like a suggestion. Like I was going to do a cartoon look and I was like, oh, I'm thinking like, I knew I wanted to do a cartoon look and then I also want to do a look where I turned half my face into a man and half into a woman. And then my mom's like, why don't you do a cartoon half man, half woman? And I was like, mom, you're a genius. And then like I literally ran upstairs and like was just finding anything I had that I could, you know, glue, foam styrofoam balls of Christmas ornaments onto my neck to look like half of a necklace. Just like, it's just like kind of random like that. And I feel like those things, even my videos I thought were like terrible ideas are like uh, my two most popular videos or two videos I was kind of like, eh. How far these, I'm out gonna do throw you, these online. How far out do you usually plan what you're gonna, what videos you're gonna make? In like a few days. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not a really good planner. That's okay. Me neither though, me neither. <laughs> really excited about. You want to tell, tell us a little bit about that and how it came to be? Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, so I was talking to my friend who, um, he founded Too Faced Cosmetics 
And I've always wanted to do a makeup line since I was like a, a teenager and I was mixing makeup in my bedroom, you know, and then I became a makeup artist and I wanted to do it even more. And so, but I've always held off because I, I, you know, a lot of people offer you things and I was like, I, I don't feel like the brand is quality enough or the product is quality enough. I don't want to attach my name to something to look really, really good. So I was just asking them for advice. Like, do you hate owning a makeup company? Is it like crazy stressful? Do you like it? I was just asking all these questions because like, I'm thinking I want to do it. And he's like, what if we do a collab and you just test it out and see what you think? And I was like, oh, what? This is not how I thought this phone call was going to go, but this is awesome. And then the process is really long, like really long. Like it takes like two years to do it. So we've been working on it like a long time. Um, but then it's finally going to, I mean, I have the samples of it, but it'll be out in September. And I'm <laughs> so excited. Awesome. Are you actually in the, the nitty gritty in terms of? Oh my gosh, I'm like probably annoyingly involved. Like they were sending over the graphic images for like the packaging, and I was like, I, okay, I, well, I did a little something on Photoshop. I designed a little something. <laughs> Maybe you guys want to take a look. I don't know. And then like to the scents, like we refined the scent of the eyeshadow because the eyeshadow is scented. The lip, the liquid lip is scented, and like it's really hard to get the right candy scent. I have learned. Our finesse days are coming to a slow, tragic end. It's okay, it's almost over in like an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, Vinny's over an hour and 45 minutes, so the other two super finessers are going back to the hotel room to chill. If you push me down those stairs, I'll sort of. If I what? Push me down the stairs, I'll no, sort of. I'll sort of. Okay, careful because these ones get you. Doesn't look like they're gonna get you, but they get you. Okay, so security today is crazy. You know why though? Because of fucking Logan. Because what? Because of Logan. All the oh, mobs, yeah, for sure. they're like, bye. Absolutely not. Absolutely. So it's just been a real hard day. For finessing, so. like over officially over like right now what time is it 11 46 prom ends at 12 so literally 14 minutes until vidcon is officially over we skipped prom this year this is the first time we've come to vidcon at com me too vidcon and not going to prom mm. that's weird but we moving on to bigger and better <laughs> Grab your favorite record and we'll move like they used to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can rock. 